all right guys welcome back to the channel the daily grind today um, I made a video with a special guest named Jerry he'll be um, premiering in the video next but first I'm going to put up a little uh, video about the specifications of a build I've been doing 1994 Trans Am engine uh, rebuild the original 110,000 mile engine had a little tick to it I didn't want that to get any worse and possibly be stranded so I began to source parts the first thing I sourced was a 1996 Corvette four bolt main block out of Michigan I had that delivered here to Arizona um, it was the short block was supposed to be good and ready to run but even though um, I would have believed that from the reputable seller I chose to go ahead and investigate it a little bit and check the bearings and things of that nature so I figured as long as I was doing that that I would also put in new bearings so I acquired some King bearings um, which are a good reputable bearing maker manufacturer and so it began I'd never done a short block before um, rebuild it was mostly top end stuff or just diagnosis stuff type stuff so um, I went ahead and got some knowledge on what to do with the uh, how to do bearings and check the crank and polish the crank and check your rods and uh, put those new parts in um, so that's what I did so that was the bottom end um, the crank was good polished that up a little bit put the new bearings in um, I did purchase some ARP main bolts um, for a little added strength um, I learned you know like how to use plastic gauge and stuff and uh, get all the torque numbers for the bolts and uh, install the rods and while I did that I put some new plasma molly rings in so the rings are new and um, check the the uh, different pistons for you know to make sure that they were okay and ready to use and um, the pistons are stock 96 Corvette pistons small block Chevy I'm pretty sure they put the same piston in all the small blocks for the 93 to 97 years but the Corvettes may have been a little special I really didn't investigate that too much to see so the initial thing was to get a new camshaft installed so I did come across a Lenati cam um, from a fellow LT1er <laughs> I'll call him and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the picture of the cam card up for you now so you can get a good idea on what kind of cam is in this motor and So it's a pretty big cam compared to a stock 433 um, and so I bought this one and um, put the 1.6 uh, comp cam pro magnum roller rockers on along with I'd upgrade the valve springs and so I did that with the Lunati kit dual valve springs with chromoly retainers, seven degree locks. And uh, let's see what else. I stayed with the stock valves. The heads that I had acquired were a set of six four threes. Um, the 94 had three, anyways. So they are a set of stock heads um, that were freshly. Um, remanufactured and just upgraded the springs and the roller rockers to meet up with the camshaft specs so that things would roll smoothly there. Um, I did put a high volume melling oil pump in which sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't have just stayed with a stock one but you know the best is yet to be seen. Um, let's see what else we got here on the list. Did all new gaskets. Uh, did ma manly chromoly push rods, uh, stock length 7.2, and stainless steel tube uh, 178 long tube headers. 
So I figured as long as I was in there doing all that, that I would put in a few extra goodies, which would help out the airflow, right? Get a lot of air in, get a lot of air out. Um, so this is just a little update before I post the video with Jerry. He was asked if he wanted to participate in the video that you'll see next. And uh, he said, yeah, he'd been waiting a little, a, a little while to see the car start. And so I made that happen for him today. Um, and so this project continues. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, appreciate your likes and subscribers, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.